Hello, and thank you for watching. My name's Neil Smith, and I plan to guide you through Great Circle Sailing Practice Problem 10. We're going to calculate distance and initial course between two points that are a substantial distance from each other. I hope you have your calculator out and you are ready to plug and chug, because here comes Problem 10. <laughs> Great circle distance and initial course, practice problem 10. Last one in the set. Let's check this out. In the problem, we are given two coordinates. Let's record those. Given. So we're given lat 1, which is equal to 38 42.0. 38 degrees 42.0 minutes north. And we are given lawn 2, which equals 9, 10.5, 9, 10.5 minutes west. And we're given lat 1, which is equal to, excuse me, lat 2, lat 2, which is equal to 3205, 32 degrees 05.0 minutes north. And we're given long 2 which is equal to 81050, 81 degrees 05.0 minutes west. So all of these, we need to put all of these now in degrees, only degrees. So divide the minutes by 60 in every case. And what we're going to get is 38 point, and then do this. So 42 divided by 60. 4, 2 divided by 60, enter 7.7 7 degrees north. And then in this case, we have 9 point, right? Let's make sure 9, 10, 5, good. 10.5 divided by 60, enter 0.175. I'm going to say 1, 8. Why not? Let's live dangerously. 0 0.18 degrees west. 32.5 divided by 60, enter, 0 0.08, 0 0.08 degrees north, and 81.5 divided by 60, 0.08, oh, oh, look at both of them are, let's make sure, 5, 5, good, 8108, oh, O eight degrees west. Look at this. We didn't cross the equator. We didn't cross the prime meridian. We didn't cross 180 longitude. Here's all of our lats and longs. And now we need to find D low. Find D low, which is D low equals longitude one minus longitude. Two, or the difference in longitude. So longitude 1 is 9.18, 0, 9.18 degrees west. Longitude 2 is 8108, 81.08.0808 degrees west. Just going to look at this chart. This is like a mental math check almost. So we started at 9 west. Here's 0 west. So it's like we started 9 west. We went to 81 west. So we went to the west. So we name it west. It's going to be about 70 degrees or so. So we name this thing west and we do the math and it's going to come out negative. So 9.18 minus 81.08 equals 71.9. So 71.9 degrees west is our d low. And now we need to calculate distance. Find distance. 
and distance is equal to cosine distance equals, get ready, cosine lat 1 times cosine lat 2 times cosine d low plus or maybe minus sine lat 1 times sine lat 2. And so we'll start plugging these in. Cosine lat 1, 38.7. 38.7 times cosine lat 2, 32.08 times cosine d low, 71.9. And then we did not cross the equator. We're north and north on our lats, so we will use the positive. Plus sine lat 1, 38.7 times sine lat 2, 32.08. And we start plugging these into our calculator. So open the parentheses and say cosine. 38.7 closed times cosine 32.08 closed times cosine 71.9 close close enter 0 0.20544 0 0.20544 plus and we'll do these <clears throat> Open those parentheses and sine 38.7 times sine 32.08, close, close, enter, 0 0.33207, 0 0.33207, 33207, good. Let's do this subtract, this addition. So we have that number plus our point. 20544, enter. 053751, 0 0.53751. Remember, this is the cosine of distance. We just want distance, don't we? Distance equals the cosine inverse. Inverse cosine, 0 0.53751. Let's see what this distance equals. This is going to come out in degrees. Second, cosine, 0 0.53751, 57.49, 57.49 degrees. Well, our answers in the problem are in miles times 60 miles per 1 degree. Degrees will cancel. You will be left with miles. So in, we take this and times by 60 equals 3449. 3449 miles. Let's we'll see if we're on the right track. What is the problem? 3449, it's one of the choices. We seem to be on the right track, and it's actually the right choice. Let's keep going. Let's get initial course. So now we need to find. Initial course. How do we find initial course? We use this formula. We say cosine initial course equals plus or minus sine lat 2 minus cosine distance times sine lat 1. And all of this is over sine distance times cosine lat 1. And we'll just keep going here. This plus or minus, did we cross the equator? No. Then we use, then we add this. So this is positive. So we just say sine lat 2, 3208, 32.08. Minus cosine distance. Distance is in degrees. 57.49. 57.49 times sine lat 1 
38.7 all over sine distance, which is 57.49 times cosine lat 1, 38.7. And now we just keep chugging. So let's figure out some of these actual numbers. Sine 32.08 equals 0 0.5311. 1, 1. 0 0.5311 1, 0 minus, see, let's, let's get this number. Open the parentheses and cosine 5749. 57.49 closed times sine. 38.7, 38.7, enter. So we got 0 0.336, 0 0.33603. 0 .3. Okay, and all of this is over. Let's get a number here. So open those parentheses and sign. 5749, 57.49 close times cosine 38.7, 38.7 close, close, enter. 0 0.65814, 0 0.65814, 6, good. And now let's do this. So point five three one one minus point three three six zero oh, three equals point one nine five oh seven zero point one nine five oh seven over this number zero point six five eight one four. Let's do this. So we already have this on the calculator divided by. 0.6, darn, 0. 0.19507 divided by 0. 0.65814 equals 0. 0.2964, 2964, right? Yeah. Okay, and this, if we remember, is the cosine of initial course. So we just want initial course, right? Initial course equals the inverse cosine of 0 0.2964. It's going to come out in quadrantal notation. So second, inverse cosine, 0 0.2964, enter. 72.76, 72.76, and we need to name this north from lat 1. And you see this east from earlier in the problem? This was wrong. This is west. It just messed me up at the end of this problem. West. I apologize for this mistake, but we named this west. And now we graph it out. So north, south, east, west. We're north. And we are west. So we are west 72. So we're over. We're west 72.76 degrees. We're over about here. Right? So we need to figure out all of this is what we need, not this. So we're going to go 360 minus 72.76. This should give us our degrees from true. 360 minus 72.76 equals 28724. 287.24 degrees true. So this came to 2. 87.24 degrees true. That's our initial course.
Okay, 287.24 and 3449. 287.2. Yeah, this is what we got. So A, this is the correct answer to practice problem 10.